How's it going, fellas? Untamed Soldier here. Welcome back to some Red Dead Redemption 2. My, that was a mouthful. Oh my goodness, sorry about that. Red Dead Redemption 2. And uh, I am just in the town of Valentine. It is one of the first cities you will come across while you are beginning this game. And I just totally forgot about this feature just remembered I put my pistol in down Red Dead Redemption 2 is that night. you can customize can your weapons however you like. So, um... I didn't. I just entered this uh, this gun shop not too long ago, and I am. Uh, I purchased the uh, Springfield rifle. I think it was like hundred and fifty dollars in this game. Old time money. I know it sounds cheap now, but I'm talking about back in the West here. Or, we're not even in the West. We're like in New Hampshire. I think. Jacob I saw. Worth is a friend of mine. Um, so, anyways, I got this rifle. In all of Valentine. I just put in. The uh, gold barrel on it. Uh, I don't know. I just wanted something a little bit unique. Uh, the frame. Uh, I don't want to make this look like a fancy gun. Uh, probably put in blackened steel. I'm not trying to make this a really big golden gun or anything like that. The hammer. Uh, I think this is like an like a, a different version of like car customizations but this is weapon customizations so maybe that would be a new feature in my video sweet so I currently have $144.36 uh, I think that's like one of the new features for these Rockstar games is that they're not you know they're just not adding just the dollar amount they're adding the cent amount uh, if you were to knock out or even kill an enemy in this game or not even an enemy but some random person uh, you might just happen to pick up like a couple cents off the poor dude and he's left scentless so um, so for this I'm gonna, let's go with nickel nickel looks kind of cool the site uh, let's match it up with a barrel the trap door let's put black the trigger Get a golden trigger on there there thank you very much so that has been the metals so we got like metals engravings carvings leather which is kind of great out because I don't think that's like, uh, an option for this gun and varnish what's varnish oh 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 we get to pick our the type of wood we like Ooh, I like this option. I like this. The more people flock to my shop. Dark walnut. Reason for that? Valentine. Bright maple, wild cherry. This kind of reminds me of uh, Woods class, what I had in high school. It's like, uh, okay, you're gonna start your uh, your creation uh, first. You have to find out what kind of wood you would want. And what I was told that wild cherry, like it is in the game here, was like. The most expensive, uh, that and dark walnut were like the most expensive pieces of wood. So everybody stuck with like regular oak and some like birch. Pine was like the worst wood to have in woods class because it was like I don't know. To me, it, like it split easy and shipped. I don't know. That's my experience. You guys, whoever took woods class, might differ. So, what kind of wood are we gonna use? Um, Let's do dark walnut, the most expensive five dollars. People flock to my shop. Plenty of reason for that, Valentine. Carvings. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Do we want a a a buck, a wolf, an eagle, a ram, a flying eagle, a bear? Like every every Minnesotan probably has like a, a buck on their guns if they're even that creative with their weapon choice for deer hunting. If you need anything, let me know. Um I'm mm, Yeah, let's go with the buck. I feel a little bit more comfortable with that. Hundred and one dollars and thirty six cents. Uh and I think are we done the engravings? Oh no we don't. No we didn't. What was this? Oh Oh, okay, these are the engravings that will that you would see on bits of the gun. Um, 
If it weren't for all the bounties running around New Hanover, okay, nothing on there. I'd be out of business. Oh. Barrel. Oh, okay. Never mind. I take back what I said. Uh. Hmm. Does that change the color of the engraving? Of mine, I, I think it does. Him. But he's just about the worst poker player yeah, it does. in all of If it is, I'm going to keep it as black and steel. Jeez. Um. You know, I think I'm going to keep it as it is. This is just, you know, a video showing what I've been doing in this gun shop and show you guys one of the options that you can do in the gun shop besides just buying uh, a weapon. So components, so I'm guessing these are like the attachments, are chain sight, add a scope if you nice want. Ones. Oh boy, medium scope, short scope. Um, let's go short scope. I think I have enough money for that. Good. Yes, I do. So I got a scope on there. Stock. We can do a lot with this. New trigger, brand new bolt. Your pick. You know, I'm just, I'm just gonna save out the money. There we go. Um, wrap. Ooh, we gotta put a. Make it order even more fancy. Well, anyways, um, if I get up, you know, get a lot of money from this, I might start doing gun customizations in Red Dead Redemption 2. So if you guys enjoyed this video, here I got my like a little catalog of how I purchased this thing. 120 bucks. Never mind. It was not 150. It was 120. Um, haven't unlocked the bolt action. I really want that. Uh, we gotta rack up on the money though. So, uh, let's just exit out of this. Close the entire thing all together. And there we go. We have our Golden Springfield with a scope. Now, it, like also, just like in GTA 5, your guy can, uh, well, you can also go in first person. Uh, can we equip our rifle? Yes, we can. Let's take a look at this. I think we can... Yeah, let's, um... Oh, yeah, well, here we go. We can examine our rifle. Jeez, it's not really a... It's not really a... A long rifle. I just... I don't know. I, I was looking at some things here. Let's flip it over. Very lovely. If you guys are into some gun art, um, back, flip it back, um, aim, ooh, ooh you got, we can tilt it, do all this kind of fun stuff, looks pretty, pretty good, uh, I don't have to clean it, because I just bought it, but that's an, also an option, um, when you clean your rifle, your gun is more effective than it was when it was a little bit dirty uh, along with the, some of the missions that you'll get earlier uh, you guy has to do that just so it gets the player a little bit more comfortable about the options and what you have to do with your guns um, it's just like in real life you know if you use your weapon so long it'll get dirty and doesn't work as well then that's when you have to go and clean it so well uh, perform better than it was so if you guys enjoyed this video about guns and stuff like that if you guys want a little bit more information i could make another video about guns and stuff like that so hope you guys enjoyed it see you guys in the next video whatever it makes stay awesome and have a good one out there